Hello, you're listening to Count Richard von Kutenhof Klergi. Today is Saturday, the 19th of August, and I hope you survived the rain and winds of last night. Quite a few branches were down in my area, as I'm sure they were in yours. Now, the purpose of this video is that I got this drone footage from a concerned resident of the area around here. Now, this is the site of the old Central Mental Hospital in Drundrum which is between Windy Arbor and Goatstown and it is a 34 acre site and you can see all the tents put in there for the 180 people they expect uh, just to move in seeking international protection. Now you can see the site is in a residential area and is just off the main Dundrum Road and those that may be familiar with the pub Ryan's which is on the corner there it's across the road from that and just up the road from the Dundrum Business Park which you can see in the distance there which is the, the white building but uh, this site uh, was built in 1850 as a result of the recommendations of a parliamentary committee set up by the then Lord Chancellor of Ireland Sir Edward Sugden with the 34 acre site chosen and it was Europe's first secure hospital providing care and treatment separating people who had illness from those who were criminals and you can see the building there is a h in shape and the toilet eating and shower facilities will be in the old premises now you notice on the grounds there are also uh, a cricket pitch and tennis court which is i think where the the uh, the direct provision uh, people will be actually staying but if you look at the location nearby, it's nearby Rosemount uh, Football Club and it's beside Mulvey Park and on Friarsland Road on the other side. Now there's also local schools and GA clubs nearby. And if you look what happened earlier on this week in Fingus when you had two young girls who were chased by some men of unknown origin which were arrested and uh, thankfully they had the sense to actually run into the local GAA club and seek help. Now earlier on this year this area was designated uh, for redevelopment for 852 social and affordable homes. The plans also included a community centre with an indoor sports facility, childcare, medical centre and a cafe amongst other retail units. This decision was changed in June after pressure was put on the government for failure to uh, take in an extra 350 migrants, which resulted in a fine of 150 million euro being charged, sorry, 1.5 million euro being charged to the government. And it is also the setup is very similar to what they have up in Mullingar in Column Barracks which is now turned back into an army barracks, if you will. Now the walls on the outside of the central mental hospital here were daubed with graffiti earlier on in late June beside the main gate, which included words that said no, Dundrum says no, pedos not welcome and protect our kids and women. So you can see it's quite an substantial, substantial site there. And uh, so far in 20, 22 a total spend on those seeking international protection was 367 million so there's enormous sums of money involved so you can see the main road there with the cars uh, traveling up and down and it's a very busy spot and uh, certainly those gardens in the background could certainly grow quite a bit of food if it came to it but uh, but just to thank the person individual who passed this on to me I'm very grateful for for their trust in me in making this uh, public so you can see the the fun you can actually have with a drone when it's flown by somebody in the right hands it was also interesting to know from this altitude you could see Hoth in the distance so it's quite um, it's a very convenient location between access to town with public transport and the Lewis only a five minute walk away so there are a couple of talks which are my own Thanks for listening. Good afternoon, good luck, and God bless.